These are the metrics captured in our revision total knee arthroplasty module that's contained within the app Precision Connect. I'm given a precision score based on the canal depth that I ream in the tibia, as well as my resection of the proximal tibia. Also captured are the number of reattempts or redos that I used to get the score that I've achieved, and if I skipped any of these steps that are called out as 1, 2, and 3 above. As you can see, I'm here in the operating room with our patient who previously had instrumentation inserted into their knee in a TKA for a revision. In this case, I can pull the tibia and fibula out of the body and take a look at the previous work in which I will use to adjust accordingly for this revision surgery. With the approach prepared, I can now work to ream the canal within the tibia to insert new hardware into the knee. I'm going to ream the tibial intermedullary canal to the T135 line highlighted on the reamer. If I go too far, it's actually tracked in the metrics at the end of the case, and it will lower my precision score accordingly. For proof of concept, I'm going to do it right now. Go too far and plunge too deep into the knee. I slide the resection cut guide over the reamer. I can pull it up and down using my controller to align the guide with what I deem to be a reasonable amount of tibial resection. And once I'm satisfied, I let go and press the play button to lock it into place. I can then pick up the oscillating saw and begin resecting the tibia. You can see it didn't do very well on my precision score, and that's mainly because my canal depth, as I talked about earlier, is tracked, and I went 49 millimeters beyond the T135 line. My resection was 2 millimeters below a perfect plane, so I got 71% on that metric there, and it didn't take me any redos to get to that point. 